Hi everyone, my name is Peyton and in this video I want to cover how to get some simple color variation within your environments. Uh, now there are a variety of ways you can do this uh, in both like blueprints as well as in the materials, um, but this one is super simple. It just uses like one node and I can show you basically how to set up a mask material and then be able to create instances where you can really easily get a lot of variation. And so the actual uh, material that I'm showing here uh, that's being applied to these vehicles, uh, which I'm actually using from uh, the uh, Matrix demo that uh, Epic released. And yeah, I pretty much just threw a simple shader on those. And you can see uh, with one single material, I'm able to get uh, this much variation just with the placement of the vehicle in the scene. And uh, pretty much any time I move it, or rotate it I'm getting a different color so I'm gonna start off here and I actually want to uh, take this material that I have um, and this one is super basic right now it just has a, uh, a yeah a single color and then um, for my metallic roughness I'm just using the uh, the flakes maps that come with the vehicles uh, and that's just giving um, yeah a slight like variation in that but um, the actual like variation with the color that we're going to be doing is up here, but we have not done it. So, uh, um, what I want to do first is I can either um, select these and apply it in the root um, mesh, or I can also just apply it to each of the vehicles here. Um, but this will be nice because once we, yeah, this will be the master material, and then we can kind of branch off and make a... A uh, couple of instances to uh, really like vary it up if we want to more. But now all these vehicles have the same uh, material applied to them. I think I yeah, missed one. Um, and what we can do now is, yeah, we see they're all gray. So I want to go in here, double click, um, and the first, yeah, simple node pretty much that's going to do a lot of this is the speed tree color variation node. Um, and it's really nice for just getting simple variation uh, and it uses instances uh, and the place in, the instance placed uh, throughout the environment uh, to get a random world value that slightly changes that. And then you can actually set the uh, instance value to be different to where you can get a lot more variation uh, in the actual strength to that. And that's what I want to actually put in my master material. Uh, so I have this plugged in here to the base color like we see here. Um, I'm going to right click and I'm going to type in speed tree color variation. Um, color variation. There we go. And we see that we have this node now. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug in that to the base color and then the result here. So without doing anything else, I am going to a, make a single uh, value here. Uh, just held one while I uh, clicked and I'm going to plug that into the amount and then with this uh, constant um, I am going to just set it to a uh, full one value um, and then hit save. So uh, yeah like I said that is pretty much it at least for the node and we can see that if I move this off screen a little bit or even minimize it um, we can yeah we're having a pretty strong difference uh, with all the vehicles. And now as I move them, uh, they are changing uh, color-wise. Now there's a couple of things that uh, this will not work for. Um, and one of them would be, I would say this is more for like stationary vehicles. So if you have them parked or so, if it is a vehicle that uh, the character would be driving or moving in the scene, um, that's going to be a little bit difficult because it's going to change as the vehicle moves. So you wouldn't want that uh, to be happening. So this would, yeah, really be suggested just for um, non-moving vehicles to uh, get some variation in your environments. Um, and then uh, another thing, so I'll go back here and I can turn this down, this uh, one value, and you'll see that this is basically the intensity. So if I set it to 0.5 it's going to slightly lessen that. And basically it's going to take the colors uh, from this gray value. So right now it's a super simple, um, like yeah, just gray. So it's just really random with the colors that it's picking. But if I did something more along the lines of red, you're gonna see that most of the vehicles are sticking to a warmer uh, color palette. And that is just because um, of it actually yeah, having that intensity and it's just changing between the palettes. So 
Uh, same with like if I switch it to pink um, or blue, it's going to be variations uh, within the realm of that same color. Um, so and if I click on this blue and then bring this down to 0.3, you're going to see that we're basically going to get less and less of an intensity change. And so you can have slightly different like blue values like we see here, um, where if I go to unlit mode, we have uh, six different vehicles and um, all of them have a slightly different blue tint. So that's where you can really get uh, a lot of power out of it. And I think like 0.3 is a pretty good one. Uh, actually like a, a good value to have um, to have a good amount of variation but not too much to where it's actually breaking the uh, the color um, but I can switch this back over and I do want to you notice that uh, when I was switching this uh, color it was instantly updating uh, just in case you're not aware you can right click and convert it to a parameter and what that is going to allow us to do is actually have it update real time. And so I want to do this as well with my one constant here. So I'm going to convert that to a parameter. And then for this, I want to name it. So I'm going to do uh, variation intensity. And naming it's going to help because it's actually going um, to show up in our uh, material instance as well as this value so uh, it's good to kind of keep things somewhat organized um, with your naming so I'm gonna say that and then this one's going to be color uh, so there so now that I have those two set up um, and it might make more sense to actually not have them at like a default blue um, so like actually having them at like a default gray might work better and then having um, different like uh, variation amount or different colors with each of your instances if you really wanted to um, go that route so um, but now that I have this what I can do is I'm going to yeah set this back to a just a, a simple gray and then let's say that we set this one to a, a zero um, and those are going to be yeah my, my default numbers and my default color uh, so now I can close that and I can go over here and right click and I want to create material instance. So it's going to make an instance of this material um, and this will be the main parent. Uh, but what you will see is uh, you'll, here I'll show you real quick. Um, and I'm going to just name it, yeah, car mat uh, instance. And there we go. So now if I double click on this, it's going to pull up the instance window and you'll see that the only things that we're really getting, because it's not pulling up that full graph, are the things that we actually converted to parameters. Um, so this is really nice to be able to build out like really quick um, editing like materials that you can play around with. So uh, what I can do now is, yeah, if I wanted that blue again, um, I could check this box and say I do want to change the color. Let's change it to blue like we had. And then I also want to check this box and let's change it to uh, a 0.3 uh, value. So. Um, now if I yeah, had placed it on each of these, we're again going to get those same like uh, variations that we had before. Um, but instead, I can also uh, make another instance out of this. So if I right click here and um, yeah, let's say do the same thing. So 0.3 and then uh, let's say a red this time. So there we go. Hit save. Now I can throw the red on these and I'm getting uh, a lot of variation. Um, and so, yeah, now as I move the vehicle, you know, I'm duplicating around. I could all have all my trucks or maybe like a, a specific type just being um, more like they're all blue. And then all my cars are like warmer colors um, and you could really customize this. But I think having the, uh, the color variation is really nice because uh, you're getting a wide range as you see here. I could continue to place cars around as long as I slightly adjust the values. And if I need to add more or so, I can, um, where I actually add yeah, more intensity uh, to the variation amount or even just um, making some more like uh, colors that I would like. But I think this is yeah a pretty solid way of getting a lot of variation in your scene without having to have uh, you know like eight different materials for each color type that you're wanting, and also it can save you time as you're placing it throughout your scene 
uh, to where it's already just giving you a simple value and um, you're not having to do additional work on that side. So uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, just kind of going over um, the simplicity of using speech recoloration and how nice that note is um, for some simple variation. Um, and I will see you in the next video.